Welcome to aminacademy.com In coordinate geometry, let us do pair of straight line in some more conditions. <coughs> to find the to find the separate equations of your lines represented by a second degree equations. Let us see the rules to find it. Factorize the homogeneous part that is ax squared plus hxy plus by squared equals 0 which is a homogeneous part of that given equation like into two linear factors as a1x plus b1y and a2x plus b2y having a two straight line passing through origins. Second one add the constant c1 and c2 then the lines becomes a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. Third one obtain joint equation and compare the coefficient with original equation. Fourth one solve for c1 and c2 then substitute the values of c1 and c2 in separate equations. Let us do an example to understand this concept. Find the separate equation of 3x squared plus 10xy plus 8y squared plus 14x plus 22y plus 15 equal to 0 and also find the angle between them and point of intersection of the lines obtained. Also find the angle between them. Here the angle between them already note. Let us solve this problem. First, write the homogeneous part of the equation. That is 3x square plus 10xy plus 8y square is the homogeneous part of this equation. Then we can split suppose 3 into 8 is 24 get 24 is 4 and 6 is 24 then split this middle term as 3x squared plus 4 6xy plus 4xy plus 8y squared means 10xy is split as 6xy plus 4xy now factorize first two terms that is 3x is common as x plus 2y and 4y is common x plus 2y then we have the factors like 3x plus 4y as well as x plus 2y these two factors. Now, write the given equation in terms of the factors and remaining part like 3x plus 4y into x plus 2y plus the remaining part is 14x plus 22y plus 15 plus 22y plus 15 equal 0 then we can introduce a constant for each line that is here 3x plus 4y plus c1 into x plus 2y plus c2 Then we can rewrite this like 3x three x plus four y into x plus two y plus c one into x plus two y 
प्लस सी टू इंटू एक्स थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर वाई प्लस सी वन इंटू सी टू इक्वल जीरो नाउ कंपेरिंग दिस इक्वेशन विथ द ओरिजिनल इक्वेशन गिवन लाइक वी गेट Here we can name it this as two equation two, and this original equation given is one. Now we can compare the coefficient of x square, x and y, and constants. We get the relation c one plus three c two equal fourteen, and two c one. Plus four c two equal twenty two. As well, by solving this, we get c one equal five and c two equal three. The separate equations are now. The separate equations are three x plus four y plus five equals zero, and x plus two y plus three equals zero. We got two separate equations. Now we will get angle between them. Here the first equation becomes in terms of y. That is, y equal minus three x minus five y over four and four. The second equation becomes y equal minus x minus three over two over two. Here the slope one, that is m one equal minus three by four. The slope m two. Equal minus half. Therefore, angle between them, angle between the lines, equal theta tan inverse m one minus m two over one plus m one m two. Which gives theta equal minus tan that is tan inverse minus three by four plus half over one minus that is plus three by four into half. After simplification, theta gives. Tan inverse two over eleven. Now we'll get also they ask about uh, on point of intersection. Point of intersection we can find easily by solving this equation of. 3x plus 4y plus 5 equal to zero, and x plus plus 2y plus 3 equal to zero gives point of intersection. By cross multiplying, you can do intersection. You will write clear. In Intersection. That is here. X over by cross multiplying is twelve minus ten. Y over five minus nine, and constant one over six minus four, which gives x equal one and y equal minus two.